So these are the questions that we're gonna do in this video, but I'm gonna split the questions up just so we have more space. So here's the first part. At a certain school, there are 64 boys in grade 10. Their sport preferences are indicated below. Now, for those of you that really struggle with Venn diagrams, um, I know the feeling, right? Like back in grade 10 and grade nine, no, not in grade nine, goodness me, grade 10, I was the type of student, I promise you, I would like have to ask my friends, I'd be like, uh, guys, are you all stupid or something? There are 64 boys, right? Now, how can 24 play soccer, 28 play rugby, 10 play soccer and rugby, and 22 do that? If you add up those numbers, it's more than 64. So if that is you, I want to give you a big thumbs up. I know the feeling. I've been there. <laughs> But what you got to understand is that some boys can play both sports, okay? So you mustn't think that if you add these numbers up, it should be like 64 or something like that. Okay, trust me, I've been there, I know. So what we do is we need to just see how many sports there are. So there's soccer, rugby, soccer and rugby. Okay, so there's only two sports. The reason we need to know that is to see how many circles we need on our Venn diagram. So we're going to need two Okay, and then we draw a big box. Right, now there are 64 people in total, okay? So I'm going to put a 64 over here. Um, now we've got rugby and soccer. It says that 22 boys do not play soccer or rugby. So there are 22 boys on the outside here who do not play any of those um, sports. Now, let's listen carefully, well, let's read carefully, not listen carefully, goodness me. Okay, so 10 boys play both soccer and rugby. Okay, so they play both soccer and rugby, so we'll put them in the middle. Okay, this one's actually quite a nice one. It says that there are 24 boys who play soccer. Now, what a lot of you students do is you'll want to go put the 24 here, sorry, um, over here. But that is not correct, okay? Why? Because they said 24 boys play soccer. That means in total. So you've got to look at the whole soccer circle, which is this one here. And that whole circle must be 24. So that means that this part would only be 14. Okay, that's a big area where a lot of students do get confused. We are then told that 28 boys play rugby. So 28 boys play rugby. So that means this whole circle must be rugby. So that means that this part here would just be 18. Okay. And that's it. We have filled in everything on the Venn diagram. Okay, so moving on to the next question. It says, calculate the probability that a grade 10 boy plays soccer and rugby. Okay, soccer and rugby is this part in the middle. So that means, um, okay, so probability, we're going to say over the total, the total is 64, and that's 10. So then you type that on the calculator just so that it can simplify the answer for you. And so that would be five out of 32. The next one says soccer or rugby. Okay, guys, when they say soccer or rugby, they're talking about all of this inside here. These are people who play soccer or rugby. These people play rugby, these ones play soccer, both soccer and rugby, and these ones play soccer. So if, if you're looking for the people who play soccer or rugby, they are over here, okay? When they say, they don't mean, okay, when they say soccer or rugby, it doesn't mean that they can't also play both, okay? So it includes all of those. So it's the 18, the 10, and the 14, which is 42. So 42 out of the total, which is 64. And then you just type that in on the calculator and that'll simplify to 21. You can also use percentages if you want, by the way. And then this next one, are the events, boys play soccer at the school and a grade 10 boy, wait, are the events at a grade 10 boy play soccer at the school and a grade 10 boy plays rugby at the school, mutually exclusive, justify your answer. Okay, so let's quickly talk about what mutually exclusive is okay so when things are mutually exclusive it means that they are they cannot happen at the same time so the two circles would look like this okay it's almost like someone doing maths pure maths i'm talking about pure maths and then someone doing maths literacy okay 
you're not going to find someone who does both. Yes, I've heard of one story in my whole life of someone who did both, but I think that was just the school was just trying something. But in general, right, like if you look at your own school, there's no one who does pure maths and maths literacy. Those are called mutually exclusive. You don't you don't get this. You don't get um you don't get pure maths and then interlinking or intersecting with maths literacy. Because if that happened, it would mean that there are some people who do both. So the circles are separate. So if you look at the rugby and soccer, are they mutually exclusive? Well, no, they're not. No. And then we can just say there are boys who do rugby and soccer. And that's these 10 people over here. If the two circles were separated, then you could say, yes, 